Guys, it is Thursday, July 6, 2023, and in this video we're going to review some ICT wisdom from his Twitter feed. Uh, we're going to review one of his execution videos and, and see what we can glean from that. Um, if, for whatever reason, uh, Michael views my, you know, distributing his, his Twitter video that I'm admitting is his, obviously, uh, if he views that as disrespectful or doesn't want me doing that, um, you know, just let me know, Michael. Uh, I don't think Michael watches my stuff, but just in case, uh, obviously, if you're like, don't do this, then I won't. Um, okay, so with that being said, the wisdom, you know, before we got into all of the other stuff, is real liquidity voids are periods in in time in which, you know, he his grammar is uh, not so good. Uh, real liquidity voids are periods in time in which neither buyers nor sellers were given an opportunity to book a trade. These are common gaps. So we've talked about common gaps and how those are the ones that can invert and become price trades back into it, can use it as immediate support or resistance or trade through it, and then trade back up into it and you, and invert it, right? So, so I'm gonna view that in a moment. Uh, liquidity voids are not the BISI or the SIBI or the FVG. These are periods, those, okay, instead of these, those, those are periods in which trading was booked, albeit inefficiently. So I had to parse through his pretty horrid grammar, but uh, we did get there. Um, so real liquidity voids are actual gaps, basically, uh, and they are common gaps. So we have our three types of gaps, which are uh, breakaway, measuring, and uh, common. And so the common ones are uh, the ones that can invert and price will trade back to it, use, you know, curl back, re-deliver it, trade through it, invert, that sort of thing. So let's watch. Let's read this. Where there is neither a wick, nor tail, nor candle body in a range of price, uh, this is the highest form of draw on liquidity, if your bias correct is correct. In between those draws and where market price is at present. We use things like my PD raise to get in um, or out or manage trades. So I guess he pumps out these tweets pretty quickly without ever like checking his grammar. <laughs> it's pretty bad, but we got through it. We got the meaning. Took some work though. Uh, I'm not trying to make fun of him, but yeah, his grammar is like horrible. Um, Okay, so with that being said, uh, we are going to watch uh, the mentor's Twitter execution here. He, as you know, he is my training guru. I follow him. Uh, I follow his models. I believe in his philosophy that the markets are uh, driven by a pricing engine, uh, driven by a uh, an algorithm, basically. Like I don't think that orders have anything to do with it, supply, demand, whatever. Uh, just a pricing engine. Just uh, just a algorithm. Uh, that's my opinion. Hello, hello, everyone. Opinion, opinion, belief. Okay, belief, opinion. I don't think I don't think any of the markets are real. I think uh, they, they are controlled. That's my opinion. Uh, so computerized. Um, all right. So let's watch his executions. Good morning. So I shared a tweet this morning, mentioning how I was interested in the. 15 minute buy sell balance outside efficiency. Uh, this chart is on regular trading hours. I'm going to toggle it just to electronic trading hours just for a moment. That's the buy sell balance. Okay, so if you were looking at the NASDAQ, that is essentially what I told you about this morning. The same sort of formation here on the NASDAQ. Now, I do not ever usually enter on a sell on stop, like a sell stop entry kind of Albrook stuff. I never usually do that, but if he's showing it, I guess it's possible. You see he's got the new week opening gap, new week opening CE, and new week opening low marked, and you can see the price. It's been a long time uh, trading in, around, and in, up, down, all and around that new week opening gap. Outside of efficiency, delivery on the upside only, so delivery on the downside would be expected. We have that here. Uh, this shaded area in blue, you can see that on the regular trading hours. Uh, okay, so we can see that he's applying the electronic trading hours principle on the left, 
and then also looking at the regular trading hours as we know that is what the NASDAQ actually looks like uh, just the New York sessions that is really all that it looks like um, another thing that he mentioned is that when you have these large inefficiencies uh, price is gonna wanna come back like so example for example we had those two large bissies on electronic price is gonna wanna come back at some point more likely than not and come deliver it to the opposite direction so if they're bissies you would expect sibbies to come on the way back down on the Thursday June 29th 2023 to Friday 9:30 a.m. that opening range gap has been open yeah I mentioned that same RTH gap equivalent on the NASDAQ since then now we're seeing it uh, where we closed yesterday Here's the settlement at regular trading hours. And all of these little annotations in here, excuse me, are all these on a electronic trading hour chart. And this, this chart here is in electronic trading hours. So this is regular trading hours. And it could be a little bit confusing, uh, but it, it's important that you study your data like this. And you can see the setups that are being made available. So five handles, easy. And then what you do is over time, you watch and see, does price gravitate towards lower targets for you to trust leaving a runner on? But it starts with trying to find something to get five handles and you build from there. Beautiful. So we start our trading journal and, and trading al algorithmic theory uh, with the low hanging fruit, with the first standard deviation. Um, with the easiest targets uh, and we're happy with that um, for now uh, we're not just trying to hit home runs every time if a little sell stop entry off multiple fair value gaps then a lame imbalance and then further downside the low here is the low here on this chart okay let's go through uh, one more execution video All right, so you can see electronic trading hours on the left and regular trading hours on the right. He's got the new week opening gap marked out, uh, and he's got uh, 10 contracts short here at, 40, at uh, 460 uh, halves, and he closed that for exactly five points, even though price was drawing lower. Um, the contract sizes, you know, I, can, I can't reach that, but I can reach one contract on top step. Okay, guys. Um, we're going to watch the next video. I'm going to commentate over it uh, with the music. Uh, music's going to be copyrighted, so we have to uh, mute that. Guys, this is all property of Michael Huddleston, Inner Circle Trader. Uh, no copyright infringement is intended. He has already disseminated this to the public. Uh, if for whatever reason he doesn't like me doing this, then I'll take him down. Okay. Yeah, I have to mute that. All right, so we can see that, well, it's kind of difficult for me to see here what the target is. So this is, um, he's aiming for five points. So this is a five point trade that he's aiming for. Uh, looks like it's gonna be an inverted or a, a SIBI entry. Okay, higher time frame drawn liquidity should be lower. That's probably what he saw here. Uh, what time of the day is it? between 8 and 8.10 New York local time. That's um, in the pre-market, so we could be using our um, repricing macro, New York pre-market repricing macro here. So as you know, the algorithm is going to want to deliver a fair and efficient price. And in order for it to do that for when the stock market opens up, an hour before that, uh, if you have a news driver or whatever, especially a news driver, uh, the the pre-market um, repricing macro is going to rapidly take you to where stocks are traded a fair price. Okay, as you know, the futures market is derivative of stocks. So if stocks are going to, if the powers that be intend that stocks are going to trade down for the day, they're going to reprice just before stocks open aggressively. Okay, so watching this. 
Let's see if he uh, gives us any sort of information. That's an order block there. That's a bear order block that just formed. We're moving down. Trace back up into that order block. Let's see if we get a reaction off the order block. We're looking for big moves here at this time of the day. Okay, order block got a bearish reaction. Second order block is formed. Moving down for that five points. Five point pull. And he hasn't put the stop to break even yet though. Another order block that we just formed and tested. So this, you know, you need to notice the bottom of his screen here. What time of the day is it? It's one hour before stocks open. So the futures market's going to rapidly reprice to where stocks should trade for the day. That's why an hour before the stock market opens, you get that repricing aggressively. The New York AM macro, that's what that is, pre-market macro, trying to deliver stocks into a fair uh, trading range for the day, fair and efficient. Okay. And we're getting reactions right before it hits his profit. So let's see what he does with this. Getting reactions right before the take limit. All right. So buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency on the 15 minute. He's on a 15 second chart. Um, okay. Uh, but he's looking. So what this is, is price is re-delivering a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. He just marked that out. And it's the right time of the day to get clean movement. Again, this is your pre-market repricing macro where price is going to rapidly reprice to where stocks should trade fairly and efficiently okay so we're pushing lower algorithm is taking us lower in my opinion algorithm um, all right and he's taking that he's not going for the full redelivery of that bissy took it off just shy of that price still hasn't redelivered that bissy just shy of it. So that was a draw on liquidity, but we'll see if it actually delivers. All right, and that's, I, that's copyrighted too, probably. That's uh, probably copyrighted stuff. Oh, well. I don't know. I'm not playing the sound. Okay. Um, so that is going to be it for this video. Uh, I plan on making, so as you know, I'm trying to uh, study trying to improve my ICT understanding so uh, seeing what he's doing in his executions uh, so that I can mimic it is important guys this is all copyright my Michael it's all Michael stuff it's not mine um, I will link here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna link to his Twitter channel or yeah his Twitter handle uh, and so you can go follow it himself if for whatever reason Michael's like don't do this I won't do it but I, 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 he's already given it to the public, so I don't think it's a secret. But in any, out of respect for him, uh, tw his Twitter link is going to be in the pinned comment. Okay, guys, uh, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not a uh, solicitation for legal services. Bye.